two teams come to play. But only one will show up. It's time to find out who's got the stuff of champions on another episode of... Arena! Welcome to Arena, the show that turns multiplayer games into a competitive sport. I'm Lee Rehrman. And I'm Michael Loudon. We're coming to you from the eSports Arena in sunny San Diego, California, where today two teams face off in virtual battlefields brought to life on the Alienware gaming systems powered by the Intel Pentium 4 processor. Our returning champs team, Unsung Heroes, are a stone's throw away from the Hall of Champions. Well then, they're going to have to avoid getting stoned by our challengers, the San Diego Tekken. As the teams go head to head in Mech Warrior 4, Black Knight, and Unreal Tournament 2003. Now we'll cap the combat with a game to be determined later, but in order for us to determine a winner, we're going to have to lay down some ground rules. Here is the law of Arena. There are five possible points to be won. You beat me to it. Each match is broken into three games, which are then broken into three rounds. And the team that trails at the end of the second round will get to choose the final game. And when all is said and done, here's how we will tally up the scores. Each game is worth one point, and the team with the highest accumulated score takes a point. But remember, folks, that's a change from last year, when the point was given to the team with the most accumulated kill points. And the final point goes to the team with the Intel Pentium 4 processor, MVP. The team that finishes with the most points will advance to the next match, while the team that falls will be banished forever to the land of losers. Wow, we're pretty tough around here. Well, our returning champs wouldn't know much about losing because they've never done so. Once more, into the fire for a fifth and final appearance. Say hello again to Team Unsung Heroes. We've been playing together for a couple of years now. Uh, actually, we have a new member. Uh, my brother could not make it today, so we have a replacement who's my best friend. To be able to go to the Hall of Champions would be a great honor for my team and myself because it's really all about pride. We really do want to get to that status. I consider myself a more aggressive player. I'll go for the kill. I've been playing ever since Nintendo came out. <laughs> as soon as it came out, I bought it, and I just fell in love with it. Face part! I've known the leader, Cade, for all my life. He needed an extra body, so I'm like, hey, I'll do it. Sometimes I, I just get a little carried away. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for anything stupid that I, that I, that I might say. I consider myself more of a defensive player. Everyone else is more offensive, so I kind of stay back and defend. <laughs> Go down! <laughs> well, this is one problem with that dude. Our challengers want to call them chumps. Meet the San Diego Tekken, AKA the SDT. I've had uh, Mark Man as long as I know, ever since I've been playing games. And the reason I have it, well, my first name is Mark, and I'm a guy. <laughs> we play Tekken a lot. We play other games, too, but mostly we play Tekken. My favorite part of first-person shooters is sneaking up on people. I saw you playing with your joysticks. It doesn't matter, though. We're still going to beat you. The team leader, Mark, and I have been friends for about four years or so. We met through Tekken. I'm more of a console gamer than a PC gamer. So I think our strength will lie in the console. My personal strategy is just to do as best as I can to help out my team as much as I can to, to of course, win. STD is going to kill you, man. We're going to rock, going to stick you, and beat you up. Yes, Pinoy, STDs can kill you if left untreated, though I'm not sure why that's important right now. But you would know. And with that little safety awareness tip out of the way, let's get down to business and take a look at MechWarrior 4 Black Knight, played on the Alienware gaming system, powered by the Intel Pentium 4 processor. Today's contest takes place in Canyon, where thousands of years ago, a glacier swept across the plains and left behind a complex network of canyons and valleys. There are tons of great places to hide in this map. That's why it's imperative to have some smaller, lighter mechs with jump jets to help our players navigate the terrain and scale the sheer canyon walls. Oh. What? Both teams come in here, very excited. Yes, and everybody is going to die in 10, 
The underdog versus the veteran. Now, I always thought downtown San Diego would look different. Ooh, Dante seems like he's taking his very sweet time, doesn't he? Okay, they're all sitting back on defense. And Cade for Unsung Heroes, we've seen him many times capture the flag. And he goes down. That didn't hurt. Oh, he's just making them confident. Just watch you. I'm telling you. Well, user for San Diego Tekken is in a cloud of fire and fury. And Pinoy. That's not helping now, isn't it? It's like, please hit me. I'd like to die. Well, Cade, once again, having previously gone down in a heap, is back in action. Look at that, Cade. Do the same routine. And Still again, and we've seen it so many times before. Michael Loudon, Cade has the flag and is having oh, his way. Oh, yeah. Nice maneuver. He's off. He is off. See what I said? Called that one right now, didn't I? Well, that's easy for a 120-pound man here standing next to me to say. <clears throat> 121. And for Pinoy of San Diego Tekken, it's been a bad day. I think he's got some kind of death wish, don't you? I'm clear. And Kate is all alone. Just him and his flag. Two. Lee, I'm filled with so much anticipation here, I can't even tell you. You're full of something, my friend. I will tell if these unsung heroes ever get cocky. I thought you said he's not. Isn't he? No. Pinoy, who we saw last game, get destroyed three times, is not afraid. Pinoy captures the flag. Now, that's the first we've seen of that for them. So they said they can keep that going. Go, Joey, go. Go, Pinoy, go. Get him. And Cade quietly captures the flag okay, for Team so Unsung Heroes. Okay, so we've got two these going on there. Cade and Pinoy. I've called a draw here at this point. It's like every time we see these guys, we see Cade with the flag in the position he's in right now, running away with it. Well, it's a bit predictable. You got it, Joey? I think so. But they got ours, though. San Diego Tekken, faring much better this game than last. And Pinoy, who earlier had the flag. I don't think it's a good strategy walking into them when they're shooting at you. Dante and Markman standing toe to toe. It's like rock em, suck em robots. He is gone. And Markman goes down. Yaha. There's Kate again, carrying the flag, sauntering away. No one's stopping him. Team Unsung Heroes barely eking it out by 100 points. Three. Pinoy and user, quick. SDT team members. User seems to have taken it in the midsection. He's sucking wind a little bit. And Pinoy goes down. We've seen that all day. But you see the way he died there. It's a bit of a drama queen. You know, the way he sort of lit well, up like that. You're a bit of a drama around. queen and you light up sometimes. Cade having grabbed the flag once again. Gee, is that Cade I see over there? Huh. Big surprise. Pinoy's back, but not looking well for the wear. That's great. It's like, I'm going to come back so I can get shot. But that didn't feel good. Come here, sweetheart. SCT's just going down. This is like Raiders versus Buccaneers the other week, don't you think? You've got to give Pinoy credit after having been blown up twice. It's back out there. He's got the flag, but the idea is then to avoid enemy fire. But Pinoy, unlike Cade, seemingly draws enemy fire. And Wex Major having his way with Pinoy. Save yourself, Pinoy. Drop the flag and find some cover. Got him. Get that flag. Oh, he's like a Christmas tree. There you Once are. Once again, Pinoy lit up like 4th of July. Yeah. Dante and Wex Major wreaking havoc out here. Come on! Yeah! And if we had any doubt that Unsung Heroes were men among boys, that question's been answered now. Oh, looks like the STT just got spanked. <laughs> yes, they did. No, I said... Right. And when we come back, we'll give the Tekken a chance to even the score in Unreal Tournament 2003. Can they make their fellow San Diegans proud? Or else should they be banished to Cleveland? We'll find out when Arena returns. Welcome back to Arena, coming to you from the eSports Arena in San Diego, California. I'm Lee Rehrman. And I'm Michael Loudon. Now, in Mech Warrior 4, Black Knight, we saw Team Unsung Heroes tear the San Diego Tekken a new one. Destroy! Maim! Shoot him! Kill it! Things started out in traditional fashion for the heroes. They managed to flag capture while the Tekken managed to die a lot. A lot. In round two, however, the SDTs gave our heroes a run for their money. Go, go, go. Take him out, guys. Oh. But coming up short by a mere 100 points. But there was nothing near about round three, as the heroes bounced back strong with a very special kill-a-thon. And kill-a-thon is what it was. And I'm here with a man who did much of that, Dante of Unsung Heroes. Dante, you guys seem to get it done time and time again. How do you do it? Um, we just keep at it. Keep them in our sight, and we just blow them away with all we got. I'm still going to kill this guy right now. He's down. Now, being the four-time victor coming in here, well on your way to a fifth, do you guys ever worry about being overconfident? Sometimes we do, because we've never played such games, but in time, we learn, and we conquer. 
and we conquer. That's what I'm talking about. Well, talking to the conquered, perhaps Pinoy has something to say. Now, don't tell me you stank up the joint. I already know that. Oh, shoot. Oh. Nice. All kidding aside. Now, what happened? Do you think they're going to change your strategy for the Unreal Tournament? Um, we're hoping to change our strategies for this game. Uh, coming into MechWarrior, we didn't really have much of a strategy, but just to capture the flag and everything. But hopefully, we'll, our strategy will work out this time by guarding our base, going after their base as well, and just keeping everything safe. Right, okay, well that's a novel idea, to have no strategy whatsoever. Do you think you should prance in here? Do you think you could do that and just beat the four-time winners like that? Um, we were hoping to, but of course they're four-time chance, so we have respect for them. Uh, we're just here to do our best and hopefully give them a run for their money. Right, well let's declare Arena an official prance-free zone. Well, and I think Dante is coming right into your wheelhouse, big boy. Let's see if you guys, the Tekken, can put their theory to task. Let's take a look at Unreal Tournament 2003, played on the Alienware gaming system, powered by the Intel Pentium 4 processor. Lost Faith is composed of two winding caverns with circular pathways separated by a waterfall and a river. The one thing that may throw our teams for a loop, however, is that both bases are virtually indistinguishable. So let's hope they have a keen sense of direction to go with their gun-happy trigger skills. What? So we've got the Onsung Heroes in blue, and the SDT in red. Well, they've got the flag right there, Unsung Heroes. And Cade moving around aggressively. How many you got, both of them? Nice, dude. It seems to be a one-man wrecking crew with that gun. Go, coming up the middle. But it's the guy with the flag that counts, and he's making his way back to the base quite efficiently. He's doing a couple of fancy moves there. And Dante, as we spoke to him moments ago, continuing to not be overconfident. And Pinoy doesn't seem to be a very good dancer. It seems like they're communicating. You notice that. Who's on the bridge? I'm there. I, I died. I'm, I'm away. How's it looking, Steve? People on it. Because it's in a much more confined area, you have to communicate with your teammates because you can't see them. And Dante, once again, got a flag. It's got the flag. There's somebody from the top. Somebody from the top. And Kubert for San Diego Tech and takes a heavy fire. You know, they tipped their hand when they basically He's... said no strategy. And as you can see right there, that's right there in action. He's dead meat. <laughs> Going up the middle, going up the middle, hurry up, hurry up, behind me, behind me. Down, no problem. And Dante once again making his way toward his home base for Team Unsung Heroes. So STT, they received, what would you say, a drubbing? It's getting hot in her. Two. Dante, we talked to him before Unreal Tournament, showboating a little bit as he grabs the red flag. Very nicely done, that was quite quickly. Your buddy Pinoy is shooting uncontrollably into as many dark spaces as he could unload his ammo in. Well, that's a strategy. I think he calls it the South Central strategy. Wex Major for Unsung Heroes. Team Unsung Heroes distributing the wealth. And that's how it's done. Way to go. It seems like everyone... I was going to say, is, a very is that his role. first flag? Dante with the flag. Is that a strategic move, that twirling? Is he avoiding gunfire? Is he vamping there? Is that I a vamping? I think he's just vamping. Oh. A little showboating. Oh. He places oh. the flag for another point. In desperation here, I believe, on the part of San Diego Tekken. They're running and shooting, but have no flags in tow. Got coming into our base. Got coming into our base. And Dante, once again, once runs again. on heroes. Has a very tattered red flag. The flag has been handed off to baseballer for Team Unsung Heroes. Got him, go! Go, go! And baseballer unopposed. And baseballer is someone who we don't speak of very often playing a lot of offense. Just entered our base. You're clean, you're clean, you're all good. Moving yes. in for the score, and it's three flags. And this is shaping up to be an absolute blowout. And they should practice shooting each other. And Dante, once again with the flag for Team Unsung Heroes, doing his little somersault. Too bad there's no one around to see it, because there's no other players from SDT around him. That's how you do that! And Dante, uh, Team Unsung Heroes, places cool. the flag, it's four to nothing, and the bad just gets worse. If I'm not mistaken, San Diego Tekken have not placed one flag. This is where they do their big comeback, and they come from behind, like all those, you know, playoff games. Dude, this is hopeless. Baseballer showing a little dexterity flying through the air for Team Unsung Heroes. And Baseballer down in a heap. Got to manhandle the situation. Is that a flag he's carrying? And once again, Team Unsung Heroes takes a quick lead. So this is basically uh, like the first two games. Hubert for San Diego Tekken. A little bit late in the game, but still trying to save some face. Unsung heroes, Dante. Never! Places the flag for the point. User for San Diego Tekken trying desperately to score a flag here. 
Go, Lane. Come on, come on, come on. Got your back. I got your back. I got your back. I don't believe it. Users in the clear. And they may actually get a point here. There might be a flag scored for San Diego Tech. And There's hope. Points on the board. There's actually hope here. Too little, too late. And his time is running out here. Calm down. We got this good. This is a slaughter, you know. It's like watching Wild Kingdom and a pack of wild hyenas. Unbelievable. The unsung heroes don't let up for a second, do they? No, they don't, my Herculean friend. They don't. Now, what you just witnessed is a perfect example of a hero hit and run. But alas, there is a silver lining to the cloud that hangs over Tekken's head. That's right, little fella. And new to Arena this year is the Lagger's Choice, where the team that trails after two rounds gets to decide the final game of the contest. And that would be you, my Tekken friends. Yes, you will get to choose from Burnout 2, Point of Impact, 18-wheeler American Pro Trucker, Dueling Dungeons from Mario Party 4, Fusion Frenzy, Amps, and, uh, well, there is a god, Tekken 4. And we will find out what the Tekken are thinking in just a moment, coming up when Arena returns. Welcome back to Arena. I'm Michael Loudon here at the Esports Arena in San Diego with Lee Rearman. Hi. And the San Diego Tekken here in San Diego look to pounce on the unsung heroes and put an end to the run of dominance, but unfortunately, they lost. And losing has kind of gotten in the way. Hey, Mark, now listen. You had more kills actually inflicted upon you last game than anyone here at Arena can remember in recent memory. What happened, brother? I like to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's a new game. We're going to take this one. No contest. He says we're going to get some points finally. Yes, well said. Let's see if it's well done. Well, now, when Pinoy said you guys had a new strategy, I didn't think it was going to be um, wait two rounds, then score. But fortunately, the fat lady has yet to sing. So, Ling, uh, what's your lagger's choice? Who's going to represent you in round three? Hmm, it's a tough choice. Either SD 18-wheeler, SD Tekken. I'm going to have to talk it out with my boys. Tekken. We'll pick Tekken 4. We're going to have Qbert play for us because he's the worst on the team, and that way it'll be a fair challenge to them. Here we go. Fair enough. Well, and one thing that has not been fair has been Unsung Hero's performance, and no surprises here, Dante is selected as their console-playing fool. Very well, then. It's Tekken time. One. Hubert plays as Christy, and Dante lines up as Steve. Hubert looks pretty confident in those hot purple pants as she, oh, sorry, I mean he, lunges into his opponent. And Christy, much more athletic than Steve. Oh, look at that. She's going nuts on him. After all, they don't call themselves the San Diego Tekken for nothing. And Steve seems to be taking it on the chin and every other body part by Christy. Oh, perfect is right. Now, you're allowed to kick near a 757. You would think with a heightened state of security. And the flight crew on the tarback is just enjoying this drumming. She's a woman after my own heart. I think I'm in love. Yeah! Ow! That hurt. And the table is turning as Steve is now taking it to Christy. But it turns 360 degrees as Christy finishes him off. Three. Right, keep at it. The different fighting techniques, Christy, much more athletic. Steve comes straight at you. I think it helps to use the feet. Way to go, Cubit. Very nice, very nice. I think the strategy is, is to not let up. And Dante never looked so good as Steve. Surprise, surprise, Steve oh, takes round three. Wow. Dante's looking to pull off a miracle. And Hubert in the body of Chrissy taking out some of that frustration of a long day here for SDT. Oh, right, Dante Steve is down as well. Christy put Steve and Very the match sneaky. to bed. Very Let's nice. check out the replay. Ouch! Ouch! Well, no surprises here as Hubert throws down some major girl power with that Capoeira-style beating. Oh, that is a fine showing for the SDTs, but was enough to resurrect their hopes. Let's check the game points on the Intel scoreboard and get a final tally. Team Unsung Heroes took the game points for MechWarrior 4 Black Knight. They also fragged their way to the Unreal Tournament 2003 game points. Now, Cubert showed us that girls just want to have fun. 
He takes the trophy and ticking four. No, 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 no. The point for the highest accumulated score based on the in-game scoring system goes to the unsung heroes. And now we figure out our Intel Pentium 4 processor MVP by calculating our players' kill-to-death ratios and adding in any objectives they might have secured. Now, Pete and I came up large with 1,016 points, but Cade came up larger with 4,000 34 big points. That makes him our Intel MVP. Woo! Woo! What do you have to say for yourself, young man Kate? I was really surprised by this one because I, I had actually taken a more defensive status in an Unreal Tournament, hoping that I could get one of my other guys to be MVP. One middle. <laughs> Never mind down. Because I kind of felt bad for them because they were really working hard, just like I was all five games. I'm almost sure about we've never lost an Unreal Point. That's our game, and I've said that over and over again. And we proved it again today. One right side. Got him. Two bad. So sad. It's almost like, you know, no more stress about having to worry about the next team that comes in. Right now we're relaxing <laughs> and you know, happy that we got through Arena and we got that title of champions. Excuse me. Give me that flag bat. The advice that I could give to the incoming teams is make sure you know which games you're playing. Uh, communicate and never snap at each other. Well, they may be called the unsung heroes, but today they get their due and we sing their praises as we officially retire them to the Hall of Champions. Congratulations, unsung heroes. Yeah. Yeah. And congratulations to us as well, Lee, on successfully surviving our first show in San Diego. And that wraps things up for another episode of Arena. If you think you've got what it takes, to make it to the Hall of Champions like the Unsung Heroes and you live in San Diego or maybe you are visiting San Diego, whatever, visit our website at g4tv.com forward slash arena and sign up to kick your own head of whoop ass all over on national television. For Michael Loudon. That's me. I'm Lee Rearman and we will see you next time in the arena. Yeah. 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 As uh, Team on uh, Pinoy. He's been playing for a long time. He's also a dancer. He dances by himself. We laugh at him. Goal is just to go and kill. I'm sorry. Went into my first internet cafe. That was basically the end of my life. After that, I had no life. I met a lot of people through Tekken. Every move has a counter move. It's like playing chess. That's basically what I do. <laughs> I don't talk too much. Taped on location at the eSports Arena in San Diego, California. Alienware computers with the Intel Pentium 4 processor inside provided by Alienware.